So this one looks, I think it's scarier than it actually is. This is pure plug and chug. Uh, there happened to be a homework question in my class uh, that turned out to be a little complicated, so let me go over that one. Yeah. I, it won't be with this one. No, yeah. Somebody's really excited. I love it when we get really excited about chemistry. Yeah. So what had happened in that problem, it gave us three things. It gave us the triple point. I'll just call that uh, uh, T, P, and I'll call T1, P1. Okay? Whatever, I'll just... Or A, I'll call it A, not to mix the one and the T, A, P, A. Okay. It also gave us the boiling point. And that was at, uh, I don't know what it was. I'll just make a T, B, some temperature. Okay? Gave us the boiling point. Then it asks, what's the vapor pressure at uh, some third temperature? Okay, what's the vapor pressure at the third temperature? So here's what, this had a couple components when they added together made this slightly tricky problem. At the boiling point, so this is all the information that was given right here. At the boiling point, what's the pressure? Yeah. At the boiling point, you need to know that it equals atmospheric pressure, whatever that is. If it's under normal conditions, that would be 1 atm. So you're actually, we're given two different points in this question. The third one, Tc, uh, we wanted to know, I'll just call it Pc. We wanted to know this pressure at the third point. The problem is, you'd say, okay, let's just pick one of these two and the, this third point. The problem is we don't have delta H. So what we had to do in this question is, and I'll use a different color, use these two right there, and let me plug those in, okay? Which one should be point one and which one should be point two? It's irrelevant. Irrelevant, yeah. So don't let that make you crazy. It doesn't matter. It totally doesn't matter. Okay. So natural log, now if you think it matters, it doesn't matter either, because you won't get it wrong anyway. So, you can think it matters, that's fine. Alright, so what you would go, I'll just call the top one point one, the bottom one point two. So we'll go, uh, let's see, P2, that's one ATM. And again, it won't matter, P over PA. Just, you got to be consistent, delta H, do we know R? Yep. Yeah, that's the ideal gas law constant. 8.3145. Make sure to use this one because you gotta use units of joules. 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. There we go. Everything was known in this part except delta H. There's something that is gonna be a little tricky about delta H's with its units. What if unit does delta H usually come in? Usually kilojoules per mole is what it is given to you. So you just want to be careful. Just in general, this is just a side note. Side note. In general, be careful of delta H. Because what unit is this R? Joules per mole Kelvin. So you got to change your delta H into joules when you do this problem. That's going to be very uh, common when you do any problem with a delta H. Okay. So now... Here, da da da, we have delta H, exclamation point, okay? Now, I want to find PC, that's what I want to find in the first place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, this one and which other one? It's irrelevant again, so it doesn't matter. You just have to have one that's specified. Okay, as long as you have it. Now, if you thought it mattered, it doesn't matter either, because you just pick one and get the same answer either way. Okay? So, I'll just randomly pick that one. I'll call the top one one, the bottom one two. So, natural log of, uh, let's see, PC, that's what I wanted to know, over one atmosphere equals delta H. Now, I know delta H, I also know R. 1 over uh, T1, that's TV, minus 1 over TC. Now the only unknown, I'll circle it here, is PC. That's about as tough a problem for uh, Hoffa's Papron as you can get. A normal problem would just give you two points, 
something is unknown, you solve for that. Yes? That's very good. I'll write that down too next to my side note. Temperature in Kelvin. If you multiply or divide, temperature must be in Kelvin. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. So if you always want to put your temperature in Kelvin, you won't be wrong. Okay, any question? Other questions on Flash's platform? Think plug and chug if you do a couple examples. Other beware, most people, even if they get the concept, they might not be able to do the math on their calculator. So make sure you practice at least one minimum on your calculator. Yeah. Yeah, you got to solve by using the E to the whatever. So make sure you know how to do that on calculator. Okay, what's next? Good sure,